Hey guys, welcome again, Agpipe 15's channel. Today we're going to be having pipe shenanigans once more with Dustin. Uh, today I'll be lighting up my pipe, I'm smoking some vanilla custard out of it, and I'll be telling you guys a uh, bad bowling experience I had last night. Give it a lid up. I generally don't like to use matches simply because I like to save the rim on my pipe, but I've been using them uh, here lately. I hadn't been smoking a lot of a lot of pipe. This is the first pipe I've smoked in two weeks. But uh, I find that uh, it tastes better when I do it with matches with this vanilla custard. Anyways, enough about me. You might be able to hear the lightning and thunder outside. I'm uh, at home alone. Uh, got some steaks uh, marinating on my counter in there. I'm going to throw them in the oven as soon as I get done talking with you guys. My roommate slept for the weekend, so it's nice to have some peace and quiet around here. Last night, I went uh, bowling at the uh, local bowling alley. I'm taking a bowling class here at a and uh, And it's a requirement. It's not a requirement. It's extra credit. If you go up there and bowl and sign in and do all that, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, me and a good buddy of mine go up there to go bowl. And it's half price night. We bowled like three games for, I think, eight bucks. Which is a pretty good deal. So we pay and get our shoes. And they assign us a lane. And we go up to the lane. Put my shoes on. Go over to the rack and, you know, pick out just the right ball. Make sure it has the right fit and everything. And, uh... I go to AM and our colors are maroon and I pick out an orange ball just because it fit the best. Hold on. Just a second. I'm trying to go out on this. That should be good. So anyways, like I was saying, I went and picked out this orange ball. And so we get back to the lane and I go to bowl. We bowl, bowl one or two rounds, you know, get the coach over there. He's showing us some stuff. And uh, anyways, this group of foreigners comes over to the side of us. And all of these, well, I'm, I'm going to be nice. But these people were of a short nature and did not, none of them spoke English. And, uh, I uh, I looked at their names on the screen, couldn't pronounce any of the names. So these are some straight up off the boat people. And uh, anyways, well, so they get over to our lane and they're speaking yakety 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 y'all y'all yakety yakety like that. It's like really fucking annoying because in bowling, uh, I don't know how many of you have actually you know had certain limits of training in bowling, but bowling is a very professional sport. It's kind of like golf. Uh, you know, a lot of times I like for it to be quiet. Uh, I don't like for there to be a bowler going beside me when I bowl. And these people had no etiquette or manners or whatsoever, no consideration. They were so inconsiderate. So anyways, I get up there and I start bowling bad. And these people are getting up there and they're, they're, they, they, they get the ball and go up to the line and just kind of just chunk it or some of them would underhand it or just do these funky ass throws and they'd hit one or two pins and then all these some of it just start jumping up yay yay like that and they'd start yelling and screaming it was so damn annoying oh my god i could have shot my no i wouldn't have shot myself i would have shot them we'd be lucky that uh texas house didn't pass the conceal and carry i mean i would never want to kill anybody but uh it really angered me and it just so happened that not only was my ball orange but all six of these little inconsiderate decrepit son of a bitches balls were orange they all chose orange balls so every time I have to get up there and pick my ball out I look and then I 
find the right one with the right finger holes, make sure it's my ball and then bowl. So not only did they, or not only were they inconsiderate while I was bowling, uh, their balls were the same color as mine, and it was just, it was, they were really very obnoxious, and it really pissed me off. And uh, it's pretty hard to piss me off sometimes, but yeah, I was I was very angered by it. And uh, anyway, my heart keeps going out, so I guess I should quit talking, and keep on smoking. But I'm just gonna tell you guys my story, my horrific bowling story. And uh, but we'll catch you guys later. We'll see you later, YouTube. Thanks for.